Welcome to IT's Trade of the Week for the week beginning Monday the 14th of August. We'll look uh, in a minute at this week's trade, but we'll look back to last week's trade. Uh, and this was to go long dollar yen, uh, which we'll, I was looking at last week. Uh, and that has done quite nicely. In fact, we looked to go long uh, dollar yen with a stop at 141.26. And after a brief period of weakness at the end of the first week of August, uh, the, the currency pair rallied on Monday and didn't really look back since then. Um, you could call it a bounce off the 50-day uh, moving average. I didn't really hit it, but certainly recovery above the 50-day uh, stochastics turned higher, and the price now finds itself back uh, 145. So you could see how far this one runs. You can move the stop perhaps to break even, or maybe figure out a close above uh, these June July highs. That might be the catalyst to see some more upside. So one I think to monitor, and appears to be working in our favour uh, for the time being. So that trade at least. Uh, doing quite well. Moving to this week, the week uh, beginning, as I say, Monday the 14th of August. Uh, and this one, we're looking at the DAX, which has been frustrating at best for those looking for a decent move to the upside with the DAX, because every time you think it really is about to take off, it then drops back again. And that's happened in May, in June, and indeed right at the end of July, the end of August, when the index did recently hit a new record high on an intraday basis. Um, since then, it's fallen back. But as you can see, over the last two weeks or so, the price has been staunchly defending the 15,700 level. By that, I mean it hasn't closed below that. That's the big area of support that we've seen and since April has held with a brief interlude in July has held since then. Uh, so, so long as this remains in place, we're looking to go long the DAX. Now, we're going to put our stop uh, down below uh, 155.60. Uh, to give it some room in case it continues to sort of move around 15,700 level. Uh, but I'll stop. So 15, call it 15,570 uh, with initial target up towards 16,500 of those August highs. And potentially on uh, from there, indices have tried to recover in the early part of trading this morning in Europe and indeed US futures looking stronger. Uh, so we'll see whether that continues into the rest of the session and beyond. <music>